Forest fans, you're watching Talk Forest TV, click subscribe. Uh, Max Newton here, what do I think about Leicester for Nottingham Forest nil? Embarrassing. Absolutely battered us from start to finish. Um, it's dreadful, 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 dreadful. I think from moment, minute one, um, Leicester tore us apart. They could move from defence to the edge of the edge of our box at will, um, with a few passes, with nobody getting in their way. Um, I think the defence was really, really poor. I think players, experienced quality players in defence, getting beat way too easy, um, like Nico Williams with a you know a, a turn inside onto his right foot by Harvey Barnes, and Nico Williams is left in a different postcode. Terrible defending, but he got no help from whoever's supposed to be playing down the right hand side. Johnson not getting back. You know, there's often uh, two against one of Nico. That header that they put wide early on, um, Nico turned around, looked at the player behind him with nobody on him. I didn't see anybody shouting or pointing or anybody busting a gut to get back for him. And I think, um, I think for me, the big problem in the, in the way the team played as a whole without wanting to pick out individuals, the way the team played as a whole was that the midfield offered no support to the defence. The midfield had no control whatsoever on the game. And midfield, you know, Leicester just waltzed around midfield as if they weren't there. And so within seconds, they'd move from edge of their box to edge of our box. And then at edge of our box, there's players standing there, you know, Having a, having a cigar and tying the shoelaces, waiting for the ball to come to them. Um, it's just not good enough. Um, yeah, the, the, there's no midfield's not tracking back. I think that improved slightly, improved in the, in the second half where Ryan Yates came on, although he had a nightmare first minute when I think he gave the ball away in bad situations twice, but I think he got stuck in. I saw him busting the gut to get back when... It looked like Leicester might break and Mangala looks decent again when he came on, but it's just not looking good. I um yeah, I know some people are talking about so uh, you know he's got Mangala and Niakate back in back from injury, but can't spend hundred and forty million pounds on players and then be absolutely screwed when two of them are out. You know, it needs to be better than this. Um and you know I Love Steve Cooper, and we had a ride last season. And Wembley and the semi finals were amazing. And I've got Steve Cooper t shirts and love the guy to bits. But you know, I, I can't see him lasting. I cannot see him lasting with results like this, with this run of results, with you know, conceding three goals at home to Bournemouth and Fulham, and then four away to Leicester, who hadn't won a, hadn't picked up a point. All season, I haven't won a game all season. Uh, I haven't won since May last year. A goalkeeper that's not kept a, click, a clean sheet ever in the Premier League. Um, yeah, I just don't think Marinakis is going to stand for giving a manager 140 million pounds worth of quality players, no matter what you say, no matter how they play. There's players there that other teams would give the right arm for. Leicester would give the right arm for. You know, they've had a They've not recruited hardly anybody, and we've been spending 20, 25 million pounds on some quality players. You put them in the hands of a manager, you expect better than this. Um, I know we'd like love to give him time and love to give him a chance. Um, and it would be all right if it was losing by the odd goal, or you know, not just looking so poor and not imploding so badly and um and just playing so disastrously, um, and seemingly not learning and being able to do anything different from the previous games where teams have been able to just play right through us and and tear us to pieces. I mean, frankly, it could have been six and a half time. Um, it's really, really disappointing. I think, um, yeah, we just, yeah, you know, I don't know if, I don't know what old it is. I don't know if it's Premier League is too big for Cooper. I don't know if it's uh, being given um, quality, established international players I and mean, he's better off working with young players coming through um maybe i've been bought too many players but you know i think uh one thing we learned from last season um uh, last season um you know the manager and the fans were blaming players after seven games 
Um, and, you know, Putin was a great manager. He was, uh, you know, he's got experience, look what he's doing in the game. You can't change things overnight by changing the manager. Well, that's that's what happened. And it feels like we're perhaps in the same situation here where, you know, we're becoming a team where anybody can beat us. And anybody can beat us easily. Um, and we could look like the worst team in the league. We look like the whipping boys. We don't look like we're here to compete at all. Um, let alone compete high up the table like um, like Mr. Maranakis said we would. And I think for that reason, um, I think we'll either see Sean Dyche and Ian Wernin maybe before the weekend. Um, if not before the weekend, then the Villa game is a massive game and we need to win that game. Uh, we need to win that game and not play like we have done the last three games um, for Steve Cooper to keep his job, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, what else to say? Fans are magnificent. Brilliant hearing from our fans. Um, what the hell is Leicester going on with all the plastic? Do they know that, like, like, you know, it's just an incredible amount of plastic and plastic bags. I bet they don't uh, take them back to the supermarket and do the shopping in them. Worst tea, worst tea fair I've seen for a long time. Um, just all plastic. I don't know. That's the best I can make out tonight. You guys.